Hi there, Dave with Crandall Office here. Wanted to talk with you guys a little bit about the face masks we've been doing for the local hospitals and donating. We've been getting a lot of questions about the templates and uh, if we might be able to share those with people. And so we're putting together a little video showing everybody what we're doing, how we're doing it, and uh, let's get started. All right, so when we originally asked to make these masks by the local hospital, uh, we had originally started with this pleated design that you see here. It's, uh, it's a design that you see a lot of templates for online. Uh, we decided that we wanted to go a slightly different direction with our masks after, after playing around with these designs and went with this a uh, little bit more face shield sort of mask design. It's a little bit easier to sew. Uh, more comfortable and uh, we've found that uh, we were able to modify the design enough to be able to put the filters that were required into the back of the mask uh, and it's it's been great we've just got final approval from everybody that we're working with that this design is going to work great for them uh, we would caution anybody that's going to be making these masks and donating them that they should check with whoever they're gonna be donating these masks to and that this design works for them. Uh, we specifically designed this for the hospitals that we're working with and so wanna make sure that anybody who's doing this and donating does their due diligence on uh, making sure that this is gonna work for whoever they're donating to. All right, we're gonna take a little walk out back and show you where we're actually making these masks and uh, have Paul kind of give you a little bit of a rundown of exactly what we're doing, how we're doing it, and how you might be able to make some of these at home using our templates. From here, we will make our first stitch, which is along the front of the mask at a quarter inch inseam along the curve on the front here. When you're finished with that, you should have something like this that will open up. Two pieces are joined together. Then what we've done is we did an overstitch on the mask along the front seam to hide the, or to pull the, the seam allowance to one side. And after you get done with that, you will take your raw uh, piece for the nose. You will sew it on the inside with a one inch um, seam allowance from edge to the outside here. Once we get this step done, we will grab our two cotton pieces for the back liner and we will attach those to your front. Starting with the sides here, so you will put the good side to good side and you will attach the sides here. We'll fold over. And then the next step will be to attach the back or the bottom to the back. And we just run a line from the bottom all the way across here. As you can see here, the bottom. And that'll leave you with something that looks like this with it open on the top. Excess on the, on the top also. <clears throat> um, then the next step will be to sew the top on, um, taking into consideration the curve of the mask and to tuck some of the material in so that the filter will fit into the pocket. And then you will sew from the top all the way around until you get a product that looks like this, but inside out. This is what your mask will look like when you're trimmed and all done. Then you will pop it inside out. and you will get this. From there, we will overstitch um, the mask as close to the edge as possible. Um, you can't see the stitching because it's clear. Um, we go all the way across so the mask lays flat. And from here, we will turn the mask over Take your elastic. Now here on our elastic, we have just um, sewn the, the two ends together to make one loop. And then we set 
the elastic on there, we'll fold it over, and then sew the seam, and you'll end up with something like this. At which point you will do the same thing on the other side. Let's just set it down, the elastic, fold it over, and sew it again, and then you have a finished product. Oh, it's not threaded. That's fine. It's all good. So that's, yeah, step by step. Perfect. You want to just uh, take that one off your head and just show? Oh, just pick it yeah. Up and just show the, the... I didn't ever forget. Yeah. I totally forgot I had this on my head. It's all good. Yeah. Your, so, your face isn't really in it anyhow. So. This it will be your finished product here. And a little slight variance on ours is uh, our elastic wraps around your head and not your ears to keep your ears from getting raw. With a pocket for your filter to fit in. And that is it. We've had a lot of questions about whether or not we're gonna be selling these to the public. We've chosen that we're not gonna be doing that for the time being. Uh, the hospitals we're working with have a very high demand for these and we wanna be able to donate as many as possible to those hospitals while they're still in distress. All right, we wanna thank you for taking the time to watch our video and learning a little bit more about what we're doing with our face masks here. Uh, we're really excited and we've put a lot of time and effort into developing these patterns, these designs, and uh, we have decided to release all the templates on our website, crandalloffice.com. Uh, you should be able to download the, the templates, make your own masks at home to donate, to use for your own personal use, for friends and family, whatever it is you wanna use them for. Uh, we're making this public knowledge and, and want to help however we can. So thank you again for watching and stay safe.